so welcome to the another session on frontier sin cfd today we have the cfd thermal analysis of lithium ion battery pack for performance enhancement the objective is to understand the heat exchange between the lithium ion cell wall with the working fluid to observe the contours of static temperature and the wall temperature to observe the path line of flowing fluid along the lithium ion cell so welcome you to the another session on frontier in cfd so you can see the simulation which has been performed on thermal management of electric vehicle you can see the contours of wall temperature uh, contours of static temperature so these are useful in order to understand temperature at any point in the fluid when the fluid is moving and taking heat from the cells so that's why it is important uh, then path lines also you can just have a visualization on this so going back to the workbench window and just see what the geometry is so first of all opening the geometry in the design modeler So this is the geometry of uh, the lithium ion cells uh, which has been placed. So we'll just take a quick look of the geometry. There are so one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so there are 18 numbers of cells which have been available, and it will be subjected to the analysis of uh, analysis means when the cells are been heated, how the fluid uh, takes the heat from this uh, walls of the cell. So that analysis we are going to have. So the geometry has been prepared in the solid work. So this is the simulation after performing 5836 time steps. Total time is 583 seconds. So nearly around 600 seconds. So we can have the simulation which is running for 10 minutes. According which uh, the results can be compared with the experimental one. So this is the contours of static temperature contours of wall temperature you can see the central part where uh, blue color is visible so that means comparatively lower temperature so this portion is also heavier the blue uh, which is comparatively lower temperature now here uh, we say a higher temperature has been observed so this can be visualized from the given simulation now we will try to run the pulse here so where to run the pulse you have to go to the graphics uh, you have to path lines, click on the path lines, then take it on one side here, click on the pulse. You will see the individual particle, they are taking heat from the cell wall and they are moving from inlet to outlet. So that can be visualized from the setup. Uh, it For loading it takes time. You can see this on this side here. So the fluid is taking heat from the cell wall and it is going through the exit coming from the inlet so you can see the blue portion at the inlet and somewhat red green or somewhat yellow at the outlet so that means the higher temperature at the outlet so likewise a simulation can be visualized uh, over here so this is one of the part which is related to your setup so stop this Okay, the next part is related to the result visualization. So first of all, I will click on save button. I will save the project here. Then you need to close the fluent window because of the license issue. You cannot open the result and fluent window simultaneously. So this window has been closed. Now you can go with the result option available. So let's go inside of the result. So here you need to set few things. You can prepare charts also. You can have the temperature variation along the length of your, uh, we can say, battery pack. So that can be measured. So right now it is, you can see this 
is inlet this is outlet sorry inlet this is outlet and this is your cell wall so everything has been available here so if you want you may make it transparent say let us say 0.9 so likewise things can be done or you may keep it like this so if you want you can change the volume rendering say for example to better visualization you may make it like this somewhat 100 uh, resolution will be quite better if it is taken at 100 but at the same time the time required for rendering will be more if it is taken with uh, that much of value you can set it to up to 250 also but again the time required will be higher so this was regarding to the first thing now you can set the charts also so for this you may need to know the dimensions of your entire object and accordingly this can be done so let us suppose if I go with the line option available so here this is zero uh, for a time being I am just hiding the volume rendering so this is zero zero one I will just make it say point one and this one is also point one I have put this in Z as a point one you can uh, have this in X also let's check it where it comes so the line is coming from the here okay so if I take it 0 to 1 I may take this say for example point 1 in X direction so it is reduced here so if I take it point 2 just check it out it goes there if I take this is minus 0.5 here so it will be towards the left you will see like this so if I take it 0.25 let's check it it will be somewhat less uh, okay 0.15 I take it is coming here so if I take it 0 0.10 so somewhere here 0 0.09 if I take okay you can see here this one here you can take it 1 5 just check it how it is coming so 1 2 if I take like this you can okay 1 2 will be twice less let's take it 1 3 uh, you can visualize in some other way to have proper okay so this is right now here uh, Z is taken 0.1 I will take it 0 0.05 this is also 0 0.05 let's take it here so at this point we can measure the temperature now uh, this one x this is I will take it 0 0.12 just check it it goes in so 0 0.11 let's take it here so if I take it 1 0 it will be slightly inside so this is how you can measure the temperature 0. Point, if I take it to 1 it is slightly like this so right now the position is here you can measure the temperature along this line so how this temperature can be measured so you can go to the chart option available here so click on chart then go to your 3d and here you see the data series it is already there I will say line 1 make it x coordinate I chart count y coordinate I need is temperature so let's make it here and go to the chart option you can see the chart available uh, this is first line we have generated you can draw second line third line like this and you can get the respective charts so this is how simulation can be visualized save the project if you want to visualize pressure that can also be Observed. So let's go back to WB, save the and close this.